What's up dudes and dudettes and welcome to a very special episode. So this is the 50th episode of this series. Now this is the longest I've ever done a series on YouTube and this is definitely going to be continuing because I've loved this pretty much the entire way through and with a little hiccups every now and then and some quests that take a little too long but I mean that's really all in its own adventure. You gotta have fun with everything that you do in this game. So I figured, as I guess a special celebration, as some form of significance, we should do something special today on the 50th episode. Now I was thinking, we could go kill a dragon, we could go kill a big demon, or something like that, but we've already kind of done that. In fact, most of our quests will make us go do that again anyways, before we even reach the 100th episode knock on wood if I reach that point, but I was thinking there's got to be something, like some major boss battle, something we can do for fun, and I think I found it. <laughs> so with all these quests we've been doing, we have finally unlocked the Nightmare Zone. Now to briefly recap on what the Nightmare Zone is, I assume Dominic's going to tell us what it is here in a second when we talk to him, but it's basically a free-for-all match against all of the bosses you have come across so far in your quests. So it's either rumble, as in you can take one on, one after another until you die, or you can try to out-endure them all by trying to kill all the bosses you have killed so far in one go. So I figured it would be fun to do this, let's jump right in, let's figure out what the hell Dominic Onion wants to say to us. Welcome to the Nightmare Zone. Would you like me to create a dream for you? Uh, sure. Uh, I would actually like to talk to you a little more so that we can figure out exactly what the hell this thing is. Who are you? My name's Dominic Onion, but you can call me Dom, or Mr. Onion. <laughs> okay, Mr. O Dom, how did you get that name? Well, that's a long story, but I can tell you that it involved my parents, three blueberry specials, and a chinchampa. What? And a chinchampa? Oh yes, Nigel played a crucial role in the whole debacle. It's all very amusing now that I think that- You have a chinchampa named Nigel? That's awesome! <laughs> right. Good times. <laughs> what the fuck? What is this place? Maybe you can explain a little better than I did just a second ago. This is the Nightmare Zone. What? <laughs> Don't worry, it's not as bad as it sounds. Most of the time. That's comforting. Truth be told, the name wasn't my first choice. It's what the local folk have been calling it, and so it sort of stuck. My original plan came to me in a vivid dream. When I was younger, you see, I saw myself running a successful business from a great structure in a strange land. Well, I say strange, but I've never left L Lunar Isle at the time, and this place was very hot and dry, unlike anything I've seen before. When I told my father about the dream, he laughed and said I should become a banker like him and his father before him. But in that moment, I knew that it wasn't the life for me. I had to find out what this dream meant, and if it was a vision of the future or not, Growing up, I studied hard to find out more about magic, especially one Iron Mancy? One, uh, Iron Man? I'm not even going to try to say that. And the inner, inner, uh, oh my god, interpretation of dreams. Now I can't read normal words because of that one. This is great. <laughs> I'm going to have a stroke halfway through this. Having learned as much as I could on Lunar Isle, I set out to find and learn from the great wizards I've heard of in stories as a child. I set off to travel the world, discovering more about dreams to enable me to understand the dream I've had as a child. I need to know what this dream meant, and if it was truly a vision of the future. If so, I know I had to try and find the location and build the huge tower I saw. I was going to call it Dom Onion's Tower, but I've now found the strange place I've but I've not found the strange place or gathered enough money to build it just yet. That's why I've set up this small business venture in the meantime. Selling dreams to people. I need a big enough crowd to start my business. It's all part of my five-year plan. Wow, this guy has a five-year plan. Nice, you'd get a loan. <laughs> Perhaps my dream will come true and discover the place and build Dom Onion's Tower. Okay, so I think I'm going to leave off without talking to him about too much more because I don't want to talk to him for 15 minutes. <laughs> can I choose a dream? Uh, certainly, you can practice for free, but the larger dreams require more skill to imbue the potions, and so there's a fee for those. Huh. I would like to practice, but I think I have enough food that I could probably last. So my idea is, there's basically two levels. Like I said, there's endurance, which is a fight 
one boss, I believe, at a time until you have fought all the bosses you have fought so far, and you get points for each one. I'm going to do that first, but I also thought it would be fun to do Rumble, which is a non like a never-ending battle. As long as you have food and you haven't died, it's just wave after wave of enemies. So that's going to be fun, too. I figured, what the hell, let's go for endurance. And because I'm a wimp, I'm going to go for normal mode first. <laughs> for an endurance endurance dream, normal mode, I'll want a thousand coins. You should put the money in my coffer. I'll deduct it when you drink... Uh, sure, no problem. I've prepared your dream. Please make sure you have a thousand coins deposited in the coffer and drink from that vial in the enclosure when you're ready. Okay, well, let's unlock the coffer. And let's deposit some money. Uh, I guess I'll put 4,000 in there, just for shits and giggles. Uh, I'm good. Oh my god. You can withdraw money? I now have a bank. Oh yes! <laughs> 50 episodes in and I now have a place to safe store my money. How freaking awesome is that? Cool. Alright, let's drink the potion and figure out what to go. Endurance, normal. 1,000 coins will be deducted from your coffer. The dream will feature the following enemies. Count Draenor. King Ron... Ron... Ron whatever. Ronald. <laughs> Witch's Experiment. Elvrag. Slagolith. Nez... Holy shit. And a Black Demon. <laughs> We're gonna finish off with the Black Demon! Damn. Alright, this is gonna be interesting. I... Hope I have enough food. Sure, let's just accept and let's do this. Run right in, pick up what? Anti drag. Oh, I'll drag. I'll take the shield and I'll take the pickaxe because Count Draenor. Oh, they even have title points. That's awesome. <laughs> this is so cool. All right, let's go kill level thirty-four Dracula first. You're gonna be very easy, sir. I should have chose hard mode for you. <laughs> First boss is almost down. This would be from Vampire Slayer. This was one of the first quests that I've actually did on this channel. It was when I was doing all the free members quests first. Ta-da! And he's gone! We've got 50 points! <laughs> That's awesome. King Ronald. Ronald. I like saying Ronald better. Oh, they even have the amazing music from him. Oh, he spawned behind me. Come here, dude! Do you still have the amazing dialogues? Ruin- Take that, knave! <laughs> kill him! You can kill that king! I guess I should be using Slash or something. Nah, whatever. I'll, I'll stick with Slash, see if he'll do some more damage. How about you? Well, you're almost dead, king. I- really. <laughs> Take that, knave! You are dead. <laughs> On to the next one. Who's the next? Witch's Experiment. Oh, this one we have recently did. This is in Witch's House when we were helping the boy get his ball back. This one has four phases, I believe. We will go through this, like, uh, alien creature first. Almost looks like a, uh, uh, whatchamacallit, like E.T. or something like that. And first step down. Now he goes to the spider. I guess I could keep using my special attacks through all these. <laughs> it's not that difficult yet, which is actually interesting. But I mean, we haven't even got to the Black Demon. If I would have chose hard mode, I probably wouldn't have lasted to this point. But you know what? Just for shits and giggles, let's see if we can put the in, uh, or not the endurance. I think it's yeah, the endur. No, the rumble mode. Let's take the rumble mode and let's put it in hard mode. I don't know how difficult it's going to be, but that's after this one, and let's see if it will actually kill me, because <laughs> I have a lot of food. I definitely over-prepared for this, and I did that on purpose, because I haven't done this before. This first time running in Nightmare Zone on video, a whole nine yards, so I figured, what the hell, let me bring a lot of extra food, just in case I can't kill these things as easily as I would have hoped. All good? We've made... Pretty good progress so far. Ta-da! Elverag! Oh, shit. Alright, where are you spawning? Back behind me again. Alright, let's run over here. I'm actually your level now, which is awesome. Four damage. Damn. Alright, so you still do some damage, which I'm gonna have to be weary of. In fact, you still do a lot of damage, so hard mode, probably not a good idea. Uh, eat a lobster just for shits and giggles. Killer! 
You can do it! <laughs> Only a little bit more. She's already halfway dead, so... Damn, it's a good thing I didn't choose to go kill a brutal green dragon today or something, huh? <laughs> I mean, technically this is just a normal green dragon here, Elvarag is, so... I shouldn't be comparing them to, but... Holy shit! Let me eat. Eat again, eat again! What is up with this? What is up with this? You are doing way more damage than you did initially. I didn't even have this much problems when I was fighting you. Uh, I guess I could go for more defense, but you're already dead, so it's good enough. Grab that. I'm gonna take the dragon bones. Might as well bury them. Slagolith, whatever the hell your name is. Uh, eat lobster. Probably eat another one, just for shits and giggles. You know what? I'm gonna run out of food, <laughs> which is really funny. I was just saying, maybe we should switch to uh, something like uh, hard mode, because this is just a little too easy. Damn, bullshit, this is easy. <laughs> we hit a dragon and the great demon, and I'm gonna be fucked. <laughs> Slagolith. Alright, so this one, this is a recent quest too, I can't remember, was this the Grand Tree? I think this was. This was the Grand Tree quest, was Slagolith. And man, you are taking a while to kill. I have no bash attacks with my sword, so I can't kill him with it. Uh, come on, man. You should not be so strong. Your defense is ridiculous for a ruined pickaxe. Let us do- I wonder why it didn't give me a dragon pickaxe. Because I doubt you can take these items as you when you leave. It wouldn't make sense, because they gave them to you. So I bet you that... Well, I mean, I, I can't. I can't say anything. Because if it popped up a dragon axe, or a dragon pickaxe, I would say definitely that the axe itself is not connected to this, and we can't keep it. Like, it's going to disappear the moment we exit. But the fact that he gave me a ruined pickaxe, I don't know. Oh, pff, well, there's my answer right there. Ruined pickaxe, NZ which means it will disappear the moment we get out of this place, because I have a feeling that stands for Nightmare Zone. All good. Still got enough food to keep lasting. Wow. This guy's doing a lot of damage. Probably because I'm just not killing him. <laughs> Is there, like, any way I can... Oh my god, no wonder. I was using the stab attack. Good lord. <laughs> Me and all this random commentary on this one, just because I'm not paying attention. We should be pretty good. This will be the last bit. Holy shit, he's doing a lot of damage. If I can't even get past the first round, I'm gonna feel like shit. <laughs> come on, come on, Slagath. Hit the ground. Hit the ground hard. <laughs> I was gonna do a rumble after this, but I don't think I'm gonna have enough food to be able to do that. I'd have to go back to Catherby, which I may do, just for shits and giggles. Ta-da! He's dead. Alright, let's eat something just before... Narzatul, or whatever the hell your name is. Okay. I believe you were from... Yes, you were. You are from the Shiloh Village quest. I had to kill three of you. Wow, you are weak. Cool. That that's awesome for me cuz I just went through a monster that kind of whooped my ass. So I and the moment I say that you start doing damage. <laughs> of course. We got 973 points so far though. That's not bad. Considering I think we can buy 10 herbs with 950 points. So that's not bad at all. I'm actually pretty happy with that. I'll probably be doing this a bunch then. If not for the experience, also for the herbs, because I can then uh, note them with a leprechaun. Oh! You are the Shiloh Village quest, because apparently I have to kill all three of you still. Oh, they're level 60s. I forgot. It was a level, like, two or three level 60s and level 90 or something like that, maybe? I can't even remember. Shiloh Village, I believe I did off-camera. I don't think I did that quest for you guys. Just because I wanted to get uh, one small favor unlocked for you all. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is gonna be... it, right? Oh wait, no, we have the Black Demon left. I don't have enough food for the Black Demon. Oh, this is gonna be interesting. Uh, am I still using defense? No, I'm not. 
Level 93! Alright, so... Now I really need you to die easily. And I know that's not gonna happen. But, I mean, pray to the gods <laughs> that you die easily. As he does all the damage in the world to me. <laughs> this sucks! I'm not gonna be able to kill the black demon. Oh, man. I believe this is the last guy before we hit the black demon, too, so... Oh, well. This is... <laughs> it's been a good experience. I like the fact that this is an option for me to do. It's a fun minigame. It's a safe minigame. If we die in here, we keep all our stuff, which is awesome. Uh, it gives me practice for the place like uh, the fight caves for the Tazhar. Uh, it gives just a lot of experience to me that I can use. So, I mean, it's useful. I like the fact that this is here. Are you dead now? One last hit? Yes. Ta-da! I'm gonna retreat a little bit. What is the next one? Tree spirit. Oh. I don't have an axe, but I don't think I need one to kill the tree spirit. Oh. Uh-oh. I forgot about this entirely, though. Because last time I fought her, I fought her behind a safe zone. So I didn't take damage. Uh... I'm a little concerned on this one, because she can do a lot of damage to me. And if she ends up beating me before I even get to the Black Demon, I'm gonna feel like crap. <laughs> Come on! You're not doing as much damage as I thought you would, which I like. At, at first, I thought you were gonna attack with magic attacks, that's why I switched to my, uh, my prayers, and I was getting ready. But I think you're good. Yeah, you're only hitting twos. How are you a level 101 only hitting twos? Oh, well, I'm not complaining. Thank you for dying. <laughs> Easy enough. Now I believe we're on to the final. We are. All right, so... We've even got the epic music. Let's do this. Level 172. You are probably gonna whoop my ass. But you know what? I don't care. Protect from melee is probably more important than anything right now. Let me whack at you. Wow, I got you for a pretty good first hit, didn't I? Cool. And we're running out of prayer fast, though. Do some damage! <laughs> Come on, the Iron Chuck, you can do it! <laughs> so close yet so far, and I haven't done any more damage to him. This isn't as good as I was hoping. Damn, prayer ran out. <laughs> if I die on the Black Demon, I can take that as a loss. Like, that's... Uh, I'm fine with that loss. Come on. If I could kill him, though, I'd be so happy. If I kill him, no rumble. <laughs> if I don't kill him, I'll do a rumble just for shits and giggles and see how far we can get. Come on, man. You can do it! Already halfway through. A little bit more. Man, this is stressful. I have to admit, I'm... I was kind of freaking out when I realized how fast we were going through that food. He's already two-thirds of the way down. It's possible. We have the possibility. No, we don't. <laughs> He's gonna kill us. Oh, man. I was hoping we could have done it. We were so close. 30 more health or so, or 30 more damage or so to him, and he'd be dead. Maybe 40 or 50, I don't know. Man, we were so close. <laughs> it looks like I'm probably going to end up doing a rumble. But that's fine with me. This is fun. This has been fun. The entire thing is an adventure. So, we're getting close. Damn. Oh, he's so close to death. Oh, he's so close to death. Drink from the vial in the south... Oh my god, we did it! <laughs> How fucking awesome is that? We defeated the Black Demon. We got all the way here. Congratulations, you endured to the end. Please drink from the vial to wake up. I was so sure. I was so sure we were going to have to do a rumble after this. I didn't think I was going to win. Oh man, now I'm happy. <laughs> you guys have no idea. This is fucking awesome. We have 3,181 points, which I believe we... That's a new record. <laughs> we can now go into here, search for it, and... Oh, wow, I didn't know buckets of sand was a thing. Probably not that useful. It's, I mean, we can go buy buckets of sand, but... Uh, that is what I looked for. 9,000. Oops. 
I thought it was 950, not 9,500. <laughs> that is my bad. Alright, so I will definitely be doing this more just because it's fun like this is definitely an interesting thing on top of that we can get upgrades for items we can get uh, awesome potions that like overkill potions and it just amazing stuff comes from this so this is so great we just beat our first one too I didn't think I would and we went through a lot of freaking food <laughs> but that was awesome so uh, I guess I'm gonna end it here before I jump into this again. I'll probably play another game or two just for shits and giggles tonight. This was great. I'm glad I figured this out, and I'm glad I looked this up for the special. Thank you all so much for watching. Thank you for sticking with me for so long. 50 episodes in, and I'm still going strong, so let's keep it up. If you like the episode so far, or you liked anything you've seen so far, please consider subscribing. And thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys next time.